real fucking reason why they're coming after us, right? They took a fat L on S and on XRP. They took another fat L on on um, SBF. They're coming after. They're coming after the Hex ecosystem, Pulse Chain, and PulseX because they're hoping for a settlement or a loss so they can come after Ethereum as a security. And all and shame on every single crypto person out here. On, I don't care, on YouTube, crypto, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere, uh, TikTok, shame on you motherfuckers. Because literally if Hex, if, if something negatively uh, that calls Hex a security, what's going to end up happening is they're going to use that as a jumping stone to make Ethereum a fucking security and hold off the Ethereum ETF spot ETF. You guys are not seeing the, the game they're running on you guys right now. Not you guys, but some of the new watchers and listeners that are, um, that are subscribing right now and watching... What is up, Hexacans and Pulsinators? Welcome back to another video. I wanted to leave with that clip from community member Dollar Cost Crypto. In my opinion, some of the best knowledge in the space, and no fluff, just information. And he doesn't run a paid course or anything. He just gives us his time and his information to get back to the community. So I wanted to lead with that here. And talking about how this Hex case could actually be a bigger cog in this SEC machine to take down Ethereum guys take a look at this right here uniswap has stopped hex from trading uniswap the largest decentralized exchange on ethereum obviously it's not good there's other traditional front ends where you can buy hex on ethereum but 99 percent of trading does go on through uniswap and there are other cryptocurrencies that the sec makes allegations are securities they're still on uniswap so why is uniswap delisting hex pretty disgusting behavior where's the decentralization even Eric Wall had to come out and say this. Eric Wall came out and said, how messed up is it that the SEC, or sorry, that Uniswap delisted Hex because Hex was the cryptocurrency that popularized Uniswap. In the early days of 2020, when Uniswap was just a baby, Hex was doing the majority of the volume on Uniswap, gave Uniswap popularity and success. And now look at Uniswap, absolutely just disrespecting Hex. And basically, they're speculating that Uniswap is headquartered in Brooklyn, okay, Brooklyn, New York. If you don't know anything about the USA, New York has some of the worst regulation when it comes to crypto. They have come forward with a lot of lawsuits in regards to Tether, right, the stable coin, the largest stable coin in this space that has a lot of blemishes and shady histories. But Uniswap is located in New York City, uh, in Brooklyn. So that could be why they had to delist Hex. Um, on a positive note though, guys, I talked about this token when it was down, um, when it was half a penny, uh, 10X in the first quarter of this year. Look at the all-time chart of this thing right here. It's called Caspa. It's made by this Israeli um, PhD lecturer at Harvard. I'm not here to shill it, but I mean, hey, this thing has been just printing for me. What chart in crypto right now is hitting all-time highs? It's hard to find that. So you usually don't want to buy things at all-time highs, but uh, this is a token that I'm going to be looking at throughout the next year. You can actually mine this token as well. So if you have an extra desktop, don't buy it. Just mine it. Get some free passive income. Never know what uh, what these tokens can do. A great clip here from your, your friend Sami. Take a listen. I'm going to finish off with this. Amazing, spooky, scary. I have a chart here. Shout out to Mr. Tango. It takes two friends to tango. Look at this, posting this chart. I'm going to show you this again. This is scary, friends. I'm telling you right now, I think the aliens are in control. There's some sort of simulation. Unicorn, fairy dust, cosmos, God. I don't know what's going on, but I'm telling you, this is scary, okay? The Ethereum ICO launched, and then it dropped almost 90% about 77 days in, okay? Look at this up here. You see that? 77 days. See this 77D? You love the D, don't you? Look at this. Then Pulse Chain, which is meant to be a better Ethereum, it launched, and now after 77 days, it has its big capitulation crash, almost almost 90%. The bottom chart here, down here. This is scary. It's scary how it all is following some sort of ghost fractal pattern. The mindset of people, I don't know what it is, friends. Is it some sort of interdimensional force? I've got no idea. i really got no idea. I'm just telling you, it's crazy how these things work out. And once you see them, you better write them because they don't repeat. If you can see them happening, the first time is the best time. 
I'll let you know. I bought a nibbled on some pulse today. Friends, we already got all bullets here. I know everybody's saying we're out of money. I understand. Everyone's out of money. <laughs> we're out. So an interesting comparison, the Ethereum ICO and the Pulse Chain ICO, if you line them up, Pulse Chain did have this black swan event with the SEC, but comparison to Ethereum's launch, it's not doing too bad. Exchange and had this here, right? This is the um the red candles after the SEC down after the SEC lawsuit news came out. And you see this is Pulse Chain die in a downward trend and it looks like it's breaking out here on the 15 minute chart, but who cares about 15 minute charts anyways? And it's good to see this $150,000 in Tether stablecoin bridged not to Ethereum, but to Pulse Chain. Okay, whales are buying and it it shows on the chart, guys, the largest volume seen in price on the price chart of Pulse Chain since launch happened when at this dump. Okay, Virus is calling for them bottom in right now. Whales are stepping in. The volume bar shows the highest it has ever had. Take a listen to this clip from Richard Hart. Yeah, that's the point. So if I die, Hex.com goes offline. It don't affect nothing. People, people, the, the contracts, the people, the software that people are running keeps running. You mint your own interest. You mint your own rewards. All the, all the users are on ramp by everybody. It's not me. All the videos are done by people that aren't me. I, there's not even a video on how to stake on hex.com. Can you believe that? There's literally not even a video on the website of how to stake. I'm not even sure there's actually a description to tell you the truth. I, I don't even think there's an actual is your site. People don't understand. It's not. So like, it's, I'm just saying, we are decentralized out the yin yang. You can't right. stop it. It's not stopping. And these people that got stakes for 15 years, they ain't giving up, man. Anywhere. They're not going no, nowhere. Not. And, and new people are opening up stakes every day, oh, every yeah, minute, every hour. Plus stake. It's important to remember, people think that Richard Hart is a central, central entity X ecosystem. But at the end of the day, there's no maintenance involved in the code. X is a finished smart contract and with Richard Hart or without Richard Hart, that smart contract will continue to run. All right. BitBoy has some things to say as well. I want to look the Bitcoin people in the eyes. I want to look every person who has ever said anything bad about Hex in the eyes here. You guys know I've been neutral on it for a long time. Um, I've been a lot more positive in the last year. And I want to say, if you have a bigger problem with Richard Hart, and with Hex than you do with Gary Gensler and the corrupt SEC, mm -hmm. you are the problem. You are the problem. I'm not going to say he's perfect. I'm not going to say the way he did everything is perfect. But what I am going to say, what this statement that he made is 100% accurate. I want to look the Bitcoin. So good note to end it on there with BitBoy, really summarizing the status of this lawsuit and what it means for the culture of crypto. Guys, if you're watching this video right now, Corey Costa is about to go live with BitBoy. So if you enjoyed the video, you want some more information, go watch Corey Costa live with BitBoy right now. God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.